So, um, sweet tea. It's a southern thing, I think. Now, I am one of those people that some southerners might want to kill because I like um, to use sweetener. I use the off-brand. Yeah, but if you're really going to make sweet tea, you have to use sugar. Now, in the South, one of the brands that we really like is called Domino. And you can buy Domino in a bag and refill it into this nice little plastic container. So, this video, I'm going to tell you how to make real Southern sweet tea. I don't care what any other human on the planet tells you. Sweet tea, Duke's mayonnaise, that's how it is. And when you make sweet tea, you have to use Louisiana iced tea. Now, when my grandmother used to make this, um, I probably still have the little pot somewhere where she um, steeped the tea on the stove, brought it to a boil, all that stuff. I make it in the coffee pot. Coffee pot, really quick look at the coffee pot. Okay, so um, you don't have to use a whole lot of water if you want to make this in your coffee pot. So you would use about five, like where it says four and a half, four, four and a half, five, somewhere in there of water, you use two family size Louisiana. There is no other tea. So you use two of these. You throw them into this container. Okay, before you do that though, you need to pull the little red tag off that says Louisiana. Yep, so you just throw those bags into your coffee pot Add your water, let it steep through, let it go through the pot. Now, the reason is you don't need to um, do six or eight cups because you want it to be strong and it's going to be hot. So whatever you put into your pitcher, that's going to be really hot tea. Then you add your sugar. Um, which, like I said, I personally would add sweet and low. When I serve friends or family, I cannot do that. They would kill me. So, you use uh, three of these, which is one-third cup of sugar. Again, in the South, we really like Domino. So, you use three of these to this tiny little pitcher... Yeah, so this is my uh, Tupperware container that I really love because what makes this so magical is um, the way the suction works on the Tupperware. Um, if you don't drink a lot of tea like me, I mean, I can't drink this sugar syrup on a regular basis. So this pitcher, uh, with it being airtight, would last me, I would say, like 12 days, where, you know, uh, an average pitcher would last you less days, um, because it's all about holding the flavor of the tea in. Okay, so here we go again. You take two Louisiana family size tea bags. You put them into your coffee maker without a filter. You add about, uh, I would say, four and a half or five here for water. You let that go through your coffee maker system. You add three one-third cups of Domino or some other name brand sugar. Like I said, you can, you can buy it in this container. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. If you want to refill it, you can refill it from a paper bag for a little bit less money. I just wrote on here, refilled, um, because of the expiration date. I don't want 
Uh, like if I die tomorrow, somebody to come in and think that I'm eating two-year-old sugar, I'm not. And you put your hot tea into your pitcher. You add your sugar then, so you can stir it up effectively. Yeah, effectively. You stir the sugar into the hot coffee. Then you add your cold water. Stick it in your refrigerator. Then you have cold, southern, real, Louisiana tea. All right, thanks.